More research shows how bad ultra-processed foods are for us. A new study that specifically looked at older teenagers between 17 up to age 22, that the amount of ultra-processed food that they consume was directly related to their chances of having pre-diabetes as well as increased insulin resistance. Now, in this particular study, they were looking at people who were overweight, but that was the only part of their criteria. And what they found is that for just a 10% increase in ultra-processed food in the diet, there was a 50% chance of that person being pre-diabetic. And that's obviously very significant because what does pre-diabetes lead to? It leads to diabetes. And of course, we know that this is such a problem in our society where so many adults now have diabetes. It's an absolute epidemic. Now, if you remember, an ultra-processed food is defined as having both some type of additive in it, whether it's an artificial food coloring, whether it is a flavor enhancer or an added, added flavoring, whether it's something to make a, a food more thick and an emulsifier or something to help keep something more into solution and together. And it also has to have either elevated saturated fat or high sugar or if it has an artificial sweetener in it. So that's the definition of an ultra processed food. Now, of course, there are things that we could be doing, such as lowering our increase of ultra processed foods, increasing whole foods, being mindful of what's going into our body. In general, if you can't read the, the words on the package label, that should raise a level of suspicion in and of itself. But you know, Yes, this was looking specifically at these older teens into young adults, but of course, where do those habits start? It starts in childhood. And if we're giving our kids ultra-processed foods, they become adolescents who consume it, and they become adults who consume it, and it becomes a lifelong issue. So start early. Don't allow kids to eat ultra processed foods i realize they can be less expensive i realize that they could be more handy less preparation that's needed but at the end of the day you have to ask what am i putting into my kid what am i putting into my body is this a good idea and just one more body of evidence here showing that ultra processed foods is harmful to human beings have a nice day